A very important aspect whenever we talk about security in cloud is to use VPC. VPC are very important, virtual private cloud, and they are very important in the sense that they will help you to have your own environment within the cloud. Another point that uh, we have to mention is that you have to secure the VPC. And to secure your VPC, you need to, to implement a combination of network access controls and monitoring to protect your resources. Here is a brief description on key practices. The first one is that you have to segment your network. You have to use multiple subnets within your VPC for different layers of application, such as public subnet for web services and private subnet for databases to minimize the exposure of sensitive system. Another very important point is that you need to use security group and network ACL. Security group act as a virtual firewall for your EC2 instance. We help you to control inbound and outbound traffic at the instance level. The network ACL provides an additional layer of security at the subnet level, allowing you to control traffic to and from subnet. Set up a network ACL to allow only legitimate traffic and block unwanted traffic. You have to use NAT gateway as well. So network gateway for internet access. So you need to deploy NAT gateway in your public subnet to enable instances in your private subnet to initiate the outbound traffic to the internet. So for updates, patch without allowing inbound traffic from the internet. The fourth point that we have to mention is that you have to implement VPC pairing carefully when connecting your VPC to other VPCs, carefully configure the routing and security setting to ensure that only authorized traffic can flow between the VPCs. As a fifth aspect, you need to use VPN or AWS Direct Connect for secure connectivity. That means what? For secure connectivity between your AWS VPC and your on-premise network, you can use AWS VPN or Direct Connect. These services provide encrypted, encrypted and private connectivity options. As a sixth point, you can monitor and log network traffic. So you can utilize VPC flow logs to capture information about the IP traffic going to and from your network interface in your VPC. This data is invaluable for security analysis and troubleshooting. You have to restrict, as I said, to restrict the with ingress only internet gateway. For IPv6 enabled VPC, use egress only internet gateway to allow outbound internet traffic from instances in your private subnet while preventing inbound traffic. You can use AWS Shield and AWS WAF for protection. So you can protect your application from DDoS attacks with AWS Shields. For application level protection, use AWS WAF to control HTTP and HTTPS request traffic to your AWS resources. Another point, you have to regularly review and update VPC security configuration. Regularly review your VPC configuration, including your root tables, security groups, and network ACL to ensure they meet your security requirements. Thanks and bye for now.